Good morning children. In the previous class we had learnt two dimensional geometry to begin with straight line the various forms. In today's class we are going to do problems in practical life situations using these ideas. Where and how straight lines and slopes are applied in day to day life situations. So let us go into the exercise 6.2. Question number 5. The normal boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius or 212 degree Fahrenheit. So Celsius 100 tells me Fahrenheit it is 212. The freezing point of water is 0 degree Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So 0 when it is under Celsius it is 32 degrees Fahrenheit. We need to find the relationship between C and F. If F is given, I should know to find C. If C is given, I should know to find F. How are we to do it? Given the degrees and the Fahrenheit, call this as X and this as Y. So this I will take X1 and this I will take X2. This I will take Y1 and this I will take Y2. We know the two-point formula for the equation of the line. Here it is equation of C and F. I can use the two-point formula and write the relation. Y minus Y1 is 32 by Y2 minus Y1. 212 minus 32. X minus 0 by 100 minus 0. As I simplify, it is y minus 32 by 180 equals x by 100. 1, 0 we can cancel, cross, multiply. y minus 32 equals 18x by 10 or y minus 32 equals 9x by 5 y equals 9x by 5 plus 32. Treat x as Celsius, y as Fahrenheit. What is the equation? Fahrenheit equals 9c by 5 plus 32. Proceeding to the second section. Given f is equal to 98.6, what is c? Substitute 98.6 is 9c by 5 plus 32 or 98.6 minus 32 is 9c by 5. We get 9c by 5 equals 66.6. C equals 5 into 66.6 divided by 9 as you simplify. C equals 37 degrees. Third subsection, C equals 38, F is equal to question mark. Substitute, F equals 9 by 5 into 38 plus 32 or F is equal to 9 into 7.6 plus 32. So, F is 68.4 plus 32 that is 100.4. We have found out the relationship between C and F. And when F is given, we found out C. When C is given, we found out F. Question number 6. An object was launched from a place P in constant speed to hit a target, say T, at the 15th second. So here, let me say 15 seconds. It was 1400 meters. So the distance from the target is 1400. And at the 18th second, say this one. The target is 800 meters away. So this is 800. Find the distance between the place and the target. So, as time passes, it is moving towards the target. If I want this distance, time should not pass. That is the initial time, 0 seconds. 
the distance covered is asked the time taken is asked now let us use the two point formula taking x is equal to the distance and y equals to the time what is x given to us first thing when it is 15 seconds time in seconds distance in meters when it is the 15th second the distance is 1400 when it is in the 18th second the distance is 800 let us consider 1400 as x1 800 as x2 15 as y1 and 18 as y2 we know the formula y minus y1 by y2 minus y1 equals x minus x1 by x2 minus x1 substituting in the formula y minus 15 by 18 minus 15 equals x minus 1400 by 800 minus 1400 y minus 15 by 3 is x minus 1400 by minus 600 y minus 15 equals cancelling here it is minus 200 x minus 1400 divided by minus 200 y equals x minus 1400 by minus 200 plus 15 Distance between the place and target. Put y equals 0. As I put y equals 0, we get x minus 1400 is minus into minus plus 200 into 15, 3000. x is equal to 3000 plus 1400. So, x is equal to 4400. The distance between the place and target. Second subdivision, we need to find the distance covered in 15 seconds. Suppose, I call this as A and this as B. My question is PA. What is PA actually? PT, the total distance, minus AT. The total distance from the first section is 4400 minus AT. In 15 seconds, target is away 1400 meters. So, this distance AT is 1400. So, my answer is 3000 meters. Third subdivision, time taken to hit the target. If the target is hit, the distance, what we have taken X? The distance from the target. So, target is hit tells me x is equal to 0. When x is equal to 0, what is the time? So, first equation, wherever x is coming, put 0. y equals 0 minus 1400 by minus 200 plus 15. It is 7 plus 15, that is 22 seconds. So, the target is hit at 20 second second or time taken to hit the target is 22 seconds as we look at the problem this helps us to think how equation of lines are helpful in finding the distance between place and target the distance covered in certain seconds and the time taken to hit the target so, these are practical applications of equations of lines. Easy hint to remember, when they ask you distance, put time zero. When they ask you time taken, put distance zero. Distance covered is asked is different from distance away from the target. This question is based on distance away from the target. That is this distance we have taken as x. But what is asked is distance covered. So total distance minus distance from the target gives us distance 
covered in what many seconds given in the question. Question number 7. Population of a city in the years 2005 and 2010 are 1,35,000 and 1,45,000 respectively. The years let us take as X and the population let us take as Y. Given the growth of population is constant, we can assume the relationship is linear. That is, a line equation can be very well used. Find the approximate population in the year 2015. We know the two-point formula. Call 2005 as x1 and 2010 as x2. 1,35,000 as y1, 1,45,000 as y2. Substituting y minus 1,35,000 by 1,45,000 minus 1,35,000 equals to x minus 2,005 by 2,010 minus 2,005. As we simplify, we can cancel So we get y minus 1,35,000 equals to 2,000 into x minus 2,005. Now the question is, what is the population? That is, what is y when they have given x is equal to 2015? Call this as equation number 1. Put x is equal to 2015 and find what is y. y equals 2000 into 2015 minus 2005 plus 135,000. Simplifying which we get 1,55,000. So population in the year 2015 is 1,55,000. Question number 12, a 150 meter long train is moving with constant velocity of 12.5 meters per second. Find equation of motion of train, time taken to cross a pole, time taken to cross the bridge of length 850 meters. Given velocity, link it with slope, which we will learn next year in detail. So the velocity, whatever is given, we will take as m. So m equals 12.5. And the length of the train. So if I keep this is the beginning of the train, the length comes down. So y intercept will be c equals minus 115. Once I know m and c, substitute in equation y equals to 12.5 x minus 150 is the equation of motion of train. Second subdivision time taken to cross a pole. A pole is a pillar like as the train crosses put y equals 0 and get what is x. So 0 equals 12.5x minus 150 or 12.5x is 150 giving us x is equal to 150 by 12.5. 12 seconds. Third subdivision time taken to cross the bridge of length. When it is a pole we put y0. When it is a bridge of length put y is equal to 850. Again the time taken is the question. Time taken, we have taken in x. So, x is equal to what? Substituting y equals 850. 12.5 into x is not known. Minus 150. 850 plus 150 is 12.5x. 12.5x is 1000. x is equal to 1000 by 12.5. We get 80 seconds as the answer. So, it is an interesting application problem of equation of lines. Finding the time taken to cross a pole and a time taken to cross a bridge. Question number 13. A spring was hung from a hook in the ceiling. A number of different weights were attached to the spring to make it stretch. 
The total length of the spring was measured each time shown in the following table. For subdivision, draw a graph showing the results. As we plot weights in x-axis and lengths in y-axis. Weights are in kilogram whereas lengths are in centimeters. Let us plot the points 2, 3, 4, 4, 5, 4.5 and 8, 6. As we have marked, let us write down. It is 2, 3, 4, 4, 5, 4.5 and 8, comma 6. Just join it using scale. So this represents the relationship between the weights and lengths. First part of the question is over. Second part of the question. Find equation relating length of the spring to the weight. They have given various points. Let us take any two points. X1, Y1 as first idea 2, 3 x2 y2 as 4 comma 4 using two point formula that is y minus y1 by y2 minus y1 equals x minus x1 by x2 minus x1 we get y minus 3 by 4 minus 3 equals x minus 2 by 4 minus 2 or y minus 3 by 1 is x minus 2 by 2. As we cross multiply, it is 2y minus 6 equals x minus 2. Bringing to the same side, x minus 2 minus 2y plus 6, 0. Or x minus 2y plus 4 equals to 0. This is the relation relating length of the spring to the weight. Third part of it. What is the actual length of the spring? For actual length, weight should be zero. When no weights are added, the spring will be on its own length. So, actual length of spring, let us put x is equal to zero in first equation. I get 0 minus 2y plus 4, 0 or 2y equals to 4, y equals to 2 centimeter. Third subdivision, we need to find the actual length of the spring which is 2 centimeters. Fourth subdivision, if the spring has to stretch to 9 centimeters, the spring's length is given that is y. So, given y equals to 9, how much weight should be added? x is equal to what? So, first equation, wherever y comes, let us put 9. x minus 2 into 9 plus 4, 0. Or x is equal to 18 minus 4, that is 14. So, x is equal to 14 kilograms for the spring to stretch out 9 centimeter. Fifth subdivision. How long will the spring be when 6 kilogram of weight on it? So now x the weight is given which is 6. We need to find out y. Again in first equation put x is equal to 6. 6 minus 2y plus 4 0 or 2y equals 10 y equals to 5. So, we will write y equal to 5 centimeter. Let us take and tabulate the answers. First subdivision, we have drawn the graph just by plotting the points taking weight as x and length as y. Second subdivision, as they have given many values, let us consider a pair of points 2, 3, 4, 4. Considering them as x1, y1 and x2, y2, we arrive at the equation of 
weights and lengths related. Third subdivision, we want to find out the actual length for which put x0. Fourth subdivision, given y equals 9, we have found out x. Fifth subdivision, given x, we have found out what is y. Question number 14. A family is using liquid petroleum gas of weight 14.2 kilograms. The total cylinder weight is 15 points. Here we are considering the gas weight alone which is 14.2 kilograms. If it is used with constant rate, constant rate tells me I can fix it to equation of a straight line. Then it lasts for 24 days. Then the new cylinder is replaced. Find the equation relating the quantity of gas in the cylinder to the days and draw the graph for first 96 days. Let us consider x to be the number of days and y to be the weight in kilograms. The first day when I change the cylinder, it has the weight 14.2 kilograms. I have not started using that. So, 0 days I will say. So, when x is 0, y is 14.2, full weight of the gas. As time passes, the gas weight keeps on decreasing and the number of days keeps on increasing. When it is the 24th day, the cylinder is empty. Gas weight is 0. So, this is what we understand from the given question as we take the two-point form and derive the equation. We get y equals 71x by 120 plus 14.2. We have the negative symbol. It tells the gas keeps on decreasing. Is the equation over? I cannot put any x and any y in this problem. In word problems, we need to restrict the values for x and y. Here, x ranges from 0 to 24 and y ranges from 14.2 to 0. Mention that. What do I mean by writing x is equal to 0 to 24? I write 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 24. In all the other problems, we just found out the equation of straight line. Here, we need to mention because the cylinder does not stand more than 24 days. It has to be replaced. So, x is from 0 to 24 only. Similarly, I can say y is from 14.2 to 0 only. Let us draw the graph of it. As we have taken 0 to 24 and y value 0 to 14.2. How do I mark it? When x is 0, y is 14.2. This is the value. When x is 24, y is 0. So, let us join it. So, the weight of the cylinder keeps on decreasing. 24th day, it is becoming 0. Now, on the 24th day, we fill the cylinder. That is, we replace it. So, again, 24th day, it is becoming 14.2. So, it will be, again, it keeps on decreasing on 48th day, it is becoming 0. 48th day, we replace the next cylinder. It becomes 14.2 again. Keeps on decreasing. 72nd day, that is 3rd 24. 2 times 24, 3 times 24, 4 times 24. It becomes 0. On 72nd day, we replace the next cylinder which is having 14.2 weight. Now, it keeps on decreasing and in 96th day, it becomes 0. So, every time 
after every 24 days the cylinder is replaced with 14.2 weight it keeps on decreasing every 24th day it is becoming zero thus we see the cylinder is used at constant rate i can very well relate the number of days and weight in kilogram as a linear equation and once i know the equation i can very well draw the graph of it for first 96 days Question number 15. In a shopping mall, there is a hall of cuboid shape. Dimensions 800 into 800 into 720. So, we have a mall like this way as we consider. This is the starting point and the escalator goes in four ways to reach the top of it. So, here we have started at one end, go up, up, up in four directions to reach the top of it. Which needs to be added the facility of an escalator in the path as shown by the dotted line. See, it starts from here, reaches first floor, second, third and fourth. So, there are four parts. The minimum total length we need to calculate, heights at which the escalator changes and the slopes of the escalator at the turning points. How are we to do it? When I see it as four parts, first part, second part, third part and fourth part. But if I treat it like this way, it becomes a straight line. That is what we see. Starting from the end to reach the top of it, it uniformly raises. How to calculate? They have given each part. It is see, it is a cuboid. When I take, there are four parts. The four parts we have elongated like this way to understand better each part the length is 800 and the total height is 720 as I split into four parts 720 by 4 is 180 so this is 1 times 180 2 times 180 3 times 180 and 4 times 180. So, turning point will be at 180, at 360, at 540. Total length will be, calculate this length and multiply by 4. 800, 180. So, what is this point? It is 800 in x, y value 180. And this starting point let me treat as 0, 0. So, as in the diagram, B tells us 0, 0. And this point that is P, 800, 180. As I know the two points, the distance formula gives us 820. If one distance is 820, there are four lengths altogether. Multiply by 4 which gives me 3280. Turning points will be at first 180, second 180, third 180. Now the third question is to find the slope of the escalator. Slope, how to find out? The each slope is same only as I take x-axis like this. So, slope of every part is one and the same. How to get the slope? y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. That gives us 9 by 14. So, escalator is a very easy application of slope and straight line which we see almost in every buildings. So, in this exercise, we have learnt a variety of applications of straight lines and slopes in practical life situations.